In this tutorial, you will learn five ways of connecting a USB drive to your TV's HDMI port. But before we get started, if you'd like to support these videos, please do so on PayPal, using the link in the description or scanning the QR code on the screen now. And don't forget to let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the future. So as you can see on my TV, I have the HDMI ports here. I do have USB ports, but for tutorial purpose, we're gonna ignore those and we're gonna connect my USB drive and movies on it into the HDMI port. So how do we do that? We use converters. So I'll show you the five converters I'm gonna be using in this tutorial. So these are the five devices we're gonna be using to convert the USB into a HDMI cable. So we're gonna go from cheapest to most expensive. There's a Xiaomi Mi Box, a Nokia streaming box, a F Amazon Fire Cube and the Video Shield Pro and a laptop. This laptop is actually really old, it's about 13 years old, so pretty much any laptop will do. So now let's plug in the first device and I'll show you how it works. So now I have the Xiaomi Mi Box plugged in, I have the power cable plugged in, my country I didn't adapt for the PowerPoint, there it is there. I have the USB drive plugged in, I have a HDMI cable plugged in, and that's plugged into the HDMI port on my TV. And that's going to convert the USB drive into HDMI so my old TV is able to read it. So let's turn on the TV and I'll show you how it works. So on my TV, I press the input button or the source button or the AV button, it could be anything on your remote. Press the input button and I select HDMI 1 because that's the port I plugged into. So we select that port. Now the Mi Box has come up and now we need to select an app called VLC. You can use other apps, but I like VLC. If you haven't got VLC, you can go to the Play Store or the App section and download it. So we select VLC. So now I've opened VLC, it brings up this message. Do you want VLC to add movies to your library? So we say yes. So now it's showing up the movie from the USB drive, but to access the USB drive directly, we can scroll down to movie, which is the name of the USB drive. Scroll down and there's the movie that I have on there. So we can press the select button. And then my movie starts to play. We can fast forward, we can rewind and it's playing that movie from the USB drive. So if we go back to the Xiaomi Mi Box, it's playing from the USB drive to the HDMI port and then going to the HDMI port on my TV. And now the movie's playing on my screen. And when I'm finished, I press the home button and now it goes back to the Xiaomi Mi Box's home screen. So that was the first method. Let's try the second one, which is using a Nokia device. Okay, so now I have the Nokia device plugged in i got the power plugged in. For my country, I need a special adapter. So there it is there. I have the power cable plugged in. I've got the HDMI cable plugged into my TV there. And I have the USB drive plugged into the USB port on the Nokia device. So let's go to my TV and let's see what it does. On my TV, I pressed the input button and this menu came up and I selected the HDMI port that I had the Nokia plugged into. On my TV, it tells me which one the Nokia is plugged into. So it's HDMI 1. I select that. Now I've selected the HDMI port on my TV. The home screen for the Nokia device has come up. And now to use the USB drive, you select VLC. If you don't have it already, you can get it from the Play Store. So select VLC. When you open VLC, this, this option comes up. It says new external device connected. Do you want VLC to add device movie to your media library? Then you can say yes. And now the movie from the USB drive shows up in my video folder. Or to access the drive directly, you can scroll down to browsing, select the USB drive, in this case it's called movie, select that, select down to where the movie is, which is called Megan, select Megan, and now the movie plays. You can fast forward, you rewind, and you can see that it plays nice and smoothly. And if we go back to the Nokia device, you can see that it's playing from the USB drive. 
Unfortunately, this USB drive doesn't flash, so you can't really tell it's working, but it is working through the HDMI port going into the HDMI port of my TV. So there's the movie there, and the movie's playing. To go back to the home screen, press the home button on the Nokia's remote, and now we're back to the home screen. So that was how to use it with the Nokia device. The next one we're going to be using is the Amazon Fire Cube. Now I have the Amazon Fire Cube plugged in. You can see the lights are blue, it's turning on. I've got the USB drive plugged in, the power cable plugged in, and the HDMI cable plugged in. But please note on the Fire Cubes, for the TV, it is the HDMI output, not the input. This device has two HDMI ports. The um, output is the one to use for the TV. And that plugs into my TV there. And let's turn on the TV and see what it does. I've got my TV turned on now and I press the home button and I select HDMI 1. TV already knows that's the Fire Cube, so I press select. So now I'm at my Fire Cube's home screen. I can select VLC. If you don't have VLC already, you can go to the App Store and install it. But I already have it, so I'll just go to VLC and open it. I press the right button, scroll down till I see a folder called Movies which is what the USB drive is called. Press select, scroll down to the movie called Megan, which is the one I'm going to play. And there's my movie. I can fast forward the movie. I can rewind it. And my movie's there. It plays nice and quickly. So that's playing from the USB drive in the Fire Cube, going into the HDMI port, and then going into the HDMI port on the TV. So when you finish watching the movie, you can press the home button. And now it goes back to the Fire Cube's home screen. So that's the Fire Cube. So let's go to the next device, which is the NVIDIA Shield. Now I have the NVIDIA Shield plugged in. I have the USB drive plugged into the USB port. I have the HDMI wire cable plugged in, the power cable plugged in. It's plugged into a power adapter. For my country, I need a different, different power plug. So I use an adapter. And then the HDMI cable is going into my TV. And you can see the NVIDIA Shield has got power because the green light has come on. So let's turn on my TV and we'll see what it does. Okay, so I press the input button on my remote, or it could be the AV button or the source button on your TV. And I select the HDMI 1 input, which is the shield, press select. And now the NVIDIA Shield's menu has come up. So we can see a message on the screen that it's found a USB drive. So I like to open it in VLC. You can use whatever app you like, but I, for a movie, I prefer VLC from a USB drive. If you don't have VLC, you can get it from the Play Store. And I already have it, so I can just select it. Now I press the right button, press the down button until I get to browsing, select movie, which is the USB drive's name. Scroll down to the movie, which is called Megan. Press select. And now the movie starts playing. Now I can fast forward the movie. I can rewind the movie. And it plays perfectly fine. Nice and quick. This one seems to be the quickest out of all of them for fast forwarding and rewinding. Uh, these NVIDIA Shield devices are actually very expensive. So that explains why. But this model is a decade old. So even being the, the age it is, it's still very up to date. It's fast forwarding and rewinding much quicker than the devices were. So you can see that it's playing, it's playing the movie from the USB drive into the HDMI port and then it's going to the HDMI port on my TV. So that's the NVIDIA Shield done. I can press the home button on the remote and that takes you back to the NVIDIA Shield's home screen. So next one we're going to be using is a laptop. All right, so as you can see, I have my old laptop plugged in. I have the power cable plugged into the PowerPoint. I have a HDMI cable plugged in. On my laptop, on this model, your laptop it has a smaller HDMI port, so you need a smaller cable. But then on the TV end, it has a full-size HDMI. So we use a cable that has the small end and then the normal full-size end. But if your laptop has full-size, that's the one to use for your laptop. And then we have a USB plugged in. And then get the laptop turned on and we'll see how this works. So now I press the input button on my TV and I've selected the HDMI 1 port, which is where the laptop's plugged in. 
So I press the select button and there's a laptop. But for watching movies, you want to go to the laptop screen. This is a Windows 10 laptop. This is pretty similar on other type of laptops, but this is how we do it on this one. Press right click, go down to the device settings. Click on number two, which is the TV. Scroll all the way down and then click on multiple displays and then change it to show only on two. And now it's going to show up on the TV. There it is on the TV. Click on keep these changes. And there is the, the laptop only showing on the TV. So now to watch the movie, click on the yellow icon at the bottom of the screen or press Windows key and E. Now the file explorer has come up and click on this PC. So now you clicked on this PC, select the drive with the movies on it. In this case, it's called Movie G. So for example, I click on Movie G. So now we've got the movie there. And what I like to do is press right click, say open with, and then open with VLC media player. Now, as you can see, the movie is playing. And to make it full screen, I double click on the movie and the TV will become full screen. I also recommend using a mouse. So as you can see, going back and forth to the keypad is annoying. So there's a movie there playing. And if we had a mouse, we could just click around onto the time bar down the bottom and we could jump around to the movie. So now I'm doing it with the silly uh, touchpad. But if we had a mouse, it would be a lot easier. So there's the movie playing. To finish watching the movie, double click on the movie again and double click on the title, title bar and then go up the top and click on the close button. Now the movie's closed. To go back to the desktop, press Windows key D and now you're back to the desktop. So that's a few ways of watching a USB drive on a TV using, using the HDMI port. If you have any more questions, let me know. You can send me a comment or message on Patreon, PayPal, Learn something else, watch the video on the screen now. And thanks for watching.